Some people think that behavioral economics is about human irrationality, as if people don't have minds that work and are acting in completely arbitrary ways. Uh, the truth is that behavioral economics is about how people are imperfect, not irrational. And we often uh, make mistakes. We focus on today and tomorrow, not the long term. That's called present bias. Often people are unrealistically optimistic about their uh, economic or health situation, and so they don't take precautions. We know that risks are often hard to assess, especially when it involves something kind of technical, and people often use some shortcuts for figuring out whether risks are serious. Those shortcuts are pretty good. We think, for example, is there a case in which there was crime in my neighborhood recently? That's a mental shortcut, but it can lead us in directions of undue fear or undue complacency. So you can think of behavioral economics as a way of thinking about how human beings really behave and also about trying to figure out how policy and law can adapt to that. It's not about human rationality, it's about human departures from perfect rationality. Well, development professionals do an extraordinary job, really, uh, of trying to figure out what policies will work and what won't. Uh, there are a few things that could get better and probably will get better among uh, people who are involved in development policy. One is about uh, the risk of unintended consequences. So you might see that a policy is kind of going to work in the abstract, but at least in the relevant community, it might create a counter reaction that you don't anticipate. So the first question is focus on the risk of unintended consequences. The second thing that developmental policymakers maybe could do better at is acquiring a lot of local knowledge about the community, either through talking to people or through uh, online surveys of one or another kind, or by talking to officials who are likely to have that local knowledge. That can help a lot. Uh, many development policymakers have a very simple view of human behavior, so they're insufficiently alert to the possibility that uh, people will be uh, unconcerned with their long-term welfare because they're concerned about today and tomorrow, or people will be um, uh, too biased in favor of sticking with the status quo, even though a departure from the status quo is very much in their interest. So once uh, development of policymakers are thinking hard about uh, status quo bias, as it's called, about the risk of unrealistic optimism, and about short-term thinking, uh, they can often do a bit better than they're doing now. Many countries in Europe, uh, in North America, well, there are only two, but the two ones in North America, Canada and the United States, uh, many countries in Asia and in Africa have shown a keen interest in uh, creating things called behavioral insights units or behavioral insights teams or nudge units. And they can be really small, uh, as many as uh, 30 people, that's not tiny, or as few as uh, three or four people as a start. And in Latin America, I think it would be worthwhile uh, to create uh, dedicated teams of behavioral uh, economists or people with some knowledge of behavioral economics uh, to think of two things. First, what do we know usually works as a policy and just offhand uh, if you have a simpler uh, form or a simpler policy or simpler communication, it usually works better. Uh, if you change the default rule from opt-in to opt-out, that often has a big impact. Uh, if you have people who know that sort of thing as a, as a team, that can often work great. Uh, for a Latin American country to partner with people in a local university who have some experience on these issues can be extremely helpful. For a Latin American countries to partner with, for example, the Behavioral Insights team uh, in the United Kingdom or with the Office of Valuation Sciences in the United States uh, can sometimes produce you know, very significant economic savings in a really short time and in some cases can succeed in uh, preventing premature deaths in, in very large numbers.